Hey everybody, so these next couple slides are going to discuss fibroconnective tissues. Um, so with that said, there are many different cells that we can find in these connective tissues. Those included here are going to be our fibroblasts, histocytes, leukocytes, plasma cells, mast cells, and fat cells. So with that said, these cells have different anatomy, different physiology, and we're also going to see different locations for a lot of these cells and what they do. And there's a lot of variety. So starting off right at the very beginning here, a fibroblast is going to be one that's going to be really important for just connecting different tissues together. And we can see that they have a large, flat branching cell, and it's going to produce different fibers and ground substance. Whereas when we move a little bit further down here, you might see something like a leukocyte, which is going to be a part of your immune system and its job is going to be to basically fight against bacteria and it's going to it's going to be basically a warrior of the body it's going to go out and try to destroy any types of pathogens that enter into the body through the bloodstream so with that said there's going to be a lot of variety and we're going to talk more about that variety in just a minute but it's really important to know that before we go into this any further that there is a large variety of connective tissues that said all of these tissues have fibers. All right. So just like we said a second ago, there are various cells that are found within these tissues. They also have a variety of fibers that are found in the tissues. And these fibers can come at different ratios. But with that said, let's just talk about those three fibers. Um, these fibers are made of proteins and there are three major fibers found in the body. The first one is going to be collagen. And these are going to be very tough, flexible, and stretch resistant fibers. And this is going to be about 25% of your body's protein in total. So that is a large amount of protein being used to make these fibers. These are also known as the white fibers. And you can see that when we're looking at some of these slideshows in a minute, that you can see that they look, usually they appear as a white color. Um, some locations you can find these are your skin, tendons, bones, and we can keep going on and on and on. Collagen is also a lot of people are familiar with this, uh, really important for your skin in that it helps keep the firmness of your skin. As the collagen starts to break down, you start to see a lot of aging. So wrinkles will start to come into place, so on and so forth. So collagen is really found all over the body. The next fiber that we're going to talk about are the reticular fibers. So these are going to be very thin collagen fibers, and you're going to find these all throughout the body as well. They're also very durable. These are going to be found in places like the kidney, spleen, lymph nodes, you're going to find them also all throughout the body. And the last ones are going to be things that are called elastic fibers, which fortunately the name helps it. These are going to be very um, elastic. They have elastic properties. So with that said, these are going to be tissues that are able to stretch and then they want to go back to their original shape. So you're going to find these in locations such as the skin, which again, if you grab your skin, goes back to the same spot, your lungs. Your lungs want to go back the same, and your blood vessels. So you're going to find these all throughout the body as well. The next component of tissues is going to be the ground substance. So the ground substance is going to be a mix of things. It's going to be like fluid. There's going to be minerals, proteins. There's a lot going on in the ground substance. And with that said, it does depend. So if you're looking at bone versus fibroconnective tissue, the components are going to vary because of the structure. So with that said, so recap, fibroconnective tissues are made up of three components. Number one, the cells. What cells are we even talking about? What does this connective tissue do? Where do we find it? Next up, the, different, the various fibers that are going to be found within it. And lastly, the ground substance. All right. So another way of looking at this, uh, if you watch the crash course video, I'm going to call right from there. One of the ways they discuss this, and I really like the analogy, is thinking of it kind of like jello. The ground substance is very similar to the jello itself. It's going to give it some structure. The various fibers within it are also going to maintain that structure of the jello. And then lastly, all the little things you find in the jello, as mentioned in that video, things like marshmallows, etc., those are the different types of cells. So it really depends on what's in your jello that makes it what it is. So with that said, these are the three components. If you have any questions on that, please let me know.